It's about that time. Assemble and talk. No, no cap. It's a civil war. You digging, you worthy. You feeling like door. Smash that like button, like hook. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. We're here once again. If you're new to the channel, if you're not, this is the best podcast in the multiverse. Smash that like button, like hook. Please subscribe and join the fam. All right, um, you seen the title, you know why you're here. That means you've already seen Across the Spider-Verse, which you should have by now if you're a fan of superheroes because it's been off a while and it's been nothing but great. All the reviews have been great. So that should I've have returned from you, the bathroom. Yeah, that should have been gave you a nudge to go see it. Oh yeah, bro had a bathroom break. He was thirst on the last episode. Um, all right, let's dive right into it. Um... 10 out of 10. Was it better than part one? Let me start. Actually, yes, actually. yes, yes, yes. No. Like, yes. How are you? So. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I don't think it was. It yes, was great, it was. but it wasn't better than the, part I, one. I feel like I always disagree with y'all. <laughs> actually, nah, we, we agreed a lot last time. No, nah, it was great, but part one just gave me a better all, like, vibe. Like, it gave us Sunflower, respectfully. Like, Sunflower... That song, I know it's just a song. Oh, you mean the the the, um, the Post Malone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that, his name? that song is amazing. Like, come on, bro! Like, it just had like an overall oh like God. like I like I don't know. I related to one like. I think part one hit like, me harder than part two. Um, part two actually. So to give y'all a quick insight, but I wonder why it took so long to even do a. I didn't even do a theater re- um, review. I actually had some bad anxiety attacks the prior week before it came out, and then for that whole week I was kind of off, and then I thought I was good. I felt great. I went to go see it, and it was. I ended up starting to catch another one while I was in the theater. So like 20 minutes in, I just had to leave. And I came home, took a nap, and I just ended up. You know, I wanted to watch it, finish it. I just watched the bootleg. Um, I actually found a clear enough copy that I was like, all right. The dark scenes wasn't dark enough that I couldn't get through it. Um, so that's why I didn't do the spoiler uh, spoiler free version. I was like, I'll just tackle it on the spoiler version, and explain it to y'all. I'm doing way better now, you know. I stopped smoking uh, weed since then and everything, so hopefully I just won't catch another scenario like that again. But um, maybe that has something to do with my experience of just watching the movie of why I didn't get to just fully catch the theater version and it didn't hit me as hard. But I, I don't think it was better than part one. I don't know why. Part one just, you know, it was the introduction. To, you know, you can't get a, a second impre- a first impression the second time. Yeah. Know? And that's what it was for Exa- me. Well, you read my mind because yeah. that's what I was going to say. Maybe it was because like when we saw part one, it was Miles new. was brand new. Yeah, all like- that was brand new. The, the animation was brand new. You know, the Prowler to me. I never heard of Prowler, so that was brand new to me. All of this was I remember something great. from the... That's crazy, right? Because that's what I was going to say before. That's what I think was dope about both these movies. Like part one had Prowler mm-hmm. and part two had The Spot. And I legit remember them from the animated series like the prowler like it wasn't his uncle of course because he wasn't miles Morales in the animated series but it was a it was a african-american dude like that was working for the kingpin that mm-hmm. had family problems and shit and then the spot was way more like you know serious in the animated series but he but he that was another thing too this i like i always wondered why i'd never seen the spot in anything else when this movie came out I learned that the spot was a uh, animated series original. Like he, the spot wasn't in no comic books, wasn't in yes, nothing. Was. Not before the animated series. I mean, you're sure he was. The animated series was the spot's first appearance ever. The Spider Man. So for you, you was kind of already aware of him. What you're saying? Just from that episode, you right. feel me? Like I, when I seen the trailer, I was wondering if that was gonna be the same nigga from the the the, the show, mm-hmm. and it was. That as was. That's what made me do my homework on it. Like you feel yeah, me? Yeah, look, spectacular Spider-Man '97. What? His hey, spot. His first appearance. He's seen. Like it was in the comics back then. Oh, well. They told me. <laughs> that the they told me. <laughs> nah, not that they told me. <laughs> hey, this came out uh, in '85. <clears throat> Who told you that? Um, I forgot where I read it at. To be honest, I know it was like I. I'm gonna, send a, I'm gonna send an email to that publication. <laughs> no, I, I honestly, I be reading a whole bunch of shits. I be on a lot of group shits on Facebook and shit like that. And, and they just be saying shit. I be forgetting. The best can't thing read, to do can't is can't believe everything you read on the internet. Go into the comments and filter out the percentage of what's seen more. That's how I always find my truth and stuff. So then someone will say something like that and you'll believe it, but then you keep reading more comments and then there'll be more people like, no, it's not. This is it. and they'll see what you're saying and stuff like that. I always get myself from the comment comment section. 
The like, only, the only not reason why, seen, listen, like, I didn't even know Spot was a Spider-Man. Yeah, I, re- I'm a big mm-hmm. guy. I didn't even. That was the first time I saw Spot, but I watch um, videos on on like YouTube of like people that buy comics, and then one dude was like, "Yo, I got the first appearance of the Spot." Mm. Everybody was like, "Oh, you got that?" And he's like, "Yeah, how much I paid?" And I was like, "Oh, I thought he was made for." Uh... Mm-hmm. I, I was on. I was like, I didn't know. Who the fuck Spot was? Yeah, yeah, same. Thing. I thought he was just made for the Miles Morales. I thought he was an OC. No, I did. I remember something I didn't know from the I, series. Yeah, I didn't know at all until I seen the trailer. No, yeah. I was like, oh shit. Um, all right, so dive a little bit more into detail about it. How did y'all like the opening scene with Gwen and everything, and the I recruitment did. of her, them having to stop the the Vulture, which I didn't like. I like the vo- I, I like, didn't like the Vulture. I didn't like, I like how the Vulture. Looked. I'm like, if y'all gonna use this animation, why y'all showing some people look like? Paper mache or whatever. Like, because he's from a different universe. He's but, from Leonardo da Vinci world. I get that, but no, I don't want that. You know what I mean? Like y'all didn't have to make him from Leonardo da Vinci's world. Y'all could have just made him looking like one of the other people. And Spider Punk kind of had that effect too, where he would look like he different in different scenes. Glitching out and everything. I yeah. like that. That's his. That that makes sense for him because he's punk anarchy. He mm, goes against okay. the system. So like for for Spider Punk, he's supposed to break all the rules. And even the way he's animated, the frames is different because everybody is they animated at a certain frame per second. Like he's out of and focus. he's the only one that's animated different frames from everybody else. So like he's he's supposed to be like the the linchpin and everything. Like he's supposed to be like the uh he's supposed to cause more harm than, than he does good. saving. Yeah. I see what you're getting at. So like they reflected that in like the character. I didn't know? like. I didn't like the intro with Gwen because not that I got any beef for her, mm-hmm. but they gave they made it like like they gave me. They, I was under the impression like the story was about to follow her. Like part two was gonna be. A yeah, Gwen that's how story. I felt at first too. But I, I didn't mind it neither. That's what I'm saying. I'm like I'm on the opposite there with you. Like I, I was like, oh, this is kind of cool, different take from opening up the movie. Like I expected to see Miles Odell off rip. And I was like, all right, this is cool that like, y'all making us wait. For I wasn't. I wasn't. No, that's what saved them. The fact that they like they they touched back down. Okay, like okay, like when when after she met up with Miles and shit like that. Like okay, yeah, this is this is now should... he's the main character still. Yeah, like, I um, how did you like Spider Man ninety nine? I thought he was. I thought Miguel. Yeah, yeah I thought it was good. Two thousand eighty nine. He's actually my favorite Spider Man. Always has been. I just thought he just was cool as fuck. And then I the always look? loved the future and stuff. So I'm like, oh, he's the future Spider Man. I thought he nailed it. I thought um. What's the actor's name? The one that did uh, Moon Knight. Oscar. Oh, that was that was the voice actor. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah, even no. I didn't even know that. But yeah, Oscar is it. Um, how do I say this? Like, if like, like all right, let's get this out the way. I know the spot was the villain, but he was the villain. Miguel was the bad guy. Yeah, right? he like, felt like it. He gave you more of it than the spot. I liked him in the movie, but it threw me through a loop because he wasn't like. Remember the Spider Man. Animated series, the future Spider, I forgot Spider Man 2099. Something oh, the one that Spider Man Unlimited. The, yeah, the, when, he, when he went on to Counter Earth. Yeah, and he was. But that's like, not the so, same Spider Man. It's not? At all. No. And that's why I always bring that up on the podcast that people have that same reaction. I used to think that when I was a kid. And so I, they put everything up on Disney Plus, and I was like, oh shit, my, the ocean I used to like. And then I realized, like, oh, this is Peter Parker. That's Peter Parker. He yeah. just has a nanotech suit. Watch, yeah. yeah. That's not 2099. That's the continuation from... From the old Spider-Man. Oh, but they man. have, like, the, the suits look very similar. They very much don't if you go back and look at them. It's you one of those... still red, right? It's black. It's more like bl- blacker, black but with red on it. they both have on it. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they both have the cape and stuff. And it's like a Mandela effect. Like, you uh, would have sworn that was that, but it's not that. Oh, so if that's the case, then I have no problems with it. Yeah, because that's Peter Parker, actually. That's crazy. You go in and follow Venom and Carnage to the alternate Earth. Yeah. And they all looked at different. Which is the high evolutionary. Yeah. In there. They had like a whole. I never saw the show. I, I only saw a YouTube video of somebody talking about it. Because mm. when and I was a kid, I was like, the fuck I like is the this show. Yeah, that show was fire to me. When Green I was Goblin was a good guy in that yeah. show and all that shit. He was shit. on the like, counter Earth. It's yeah. funny because that's the villain from Guardians of the Galaxy, the high evolutionary. That's why all the people in that cartoon are animal people. And... Yeah. We're, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, a lot of research recently. Like, wow, because they was like animal people. And they had like the tiger. Yeah, they was, on the, they was flying around. On, they was high tech. And the whole planet They had the biker, like the tiger biker and shit. Like the, yeah, Those were like the rebels. It was like you go back and watch that show now. No, no, no. So I remember enough of it. But you it's like, like it's crazy. Now that you mention it, shit is like the high rebel. Wow. 
Yeah, the words actually, connect. The words connect. Yeah, crazy how everything comes out. Around but I, I thought Miguel O'Hara. I thought he was good. Mm. Um, how about Miles? How do you think Miles did in this movie? He kind of blew minds a little bit in this one. Yeah. Not enough to not like him, but he wasn't as cool as the first one to me. Like. Okay, I see what you mean. I guess getting a little older will do that to you. Yeah. Right? Like he was like, more uh, lame. Like, like, like yeah, you're not as funny. Like, my son, like the first one when niggas kept telling him, "Yo, your shoe was on tie." He's like, "It's a choice." Yeah, stuff like that. He didn't have no one line. First of all, when they showed the other version of himself that was becoming under the prowler, that he took side to his because his dad been died, so he was under his mom's growing up Spanish, more Spanish. They made him so much more cooler that you don't even want to look at old Miles no more. First of all, like Paul's not like that. I'm saying like you don't want to even like he don't matter no more. I seen that coming though. I seen that coming before they even showed him. I didn't see that coming because they kept or like his mom, his uncle, everybody who seen him kept him like, yo, bro, what happened to your braids? Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh yeah, he's he has braids in this world. Oh, see, I didn't even. He's a I was, I was playing what they wanted me to be. I was playing the fan that didn't see that coming, so I played into their. Try. No, not, not that I've seen him being the prowler, but I've seen, seen him, him being, being a diff- not in the same universe. The ops, basically. Like, yeah. I don't think he's the ops in that one. He's the prowler. What do you mean? He's no, not, he's, he's a bad guy. Uh, no, he's definitely he's not. He's a bad guy, think, bro. What do you mean? So. Like, you think in part two they're gonna show he's gonna more be, on him? And he's, he's gonna, gonna be, be good, yeah. Because you gotta understand that's the that's the Miles that's supposed to become Spider Man. Mm-hmm. So he's supposed to be good. And so he was never supposed to be Spider Man. It's still who he is. Exactly. Like no matter who he's gonna be, what character he's gonna yeah. be. He still is the same. And then his father died, so yeah. his canon event still Fable. happened. Yeah. Like, right. I'm not saying that he can't, like, that, that, that Prowler Miles Morales can't become a good guy in the next one, but he's 100% a bad guy in this one. His uncle was setting up jobs and shit. He was talking to him. Like, yo, about illegal stuff. That about, we're about to go run down on this bank and shit. And that's when he first peaked rodeo. It. That's how he peaked. It wasn't him. Like, he looked back. Like, while he was walking up the fire escape to the yeah, side of the right. building, the you. uncle was talking about think it was committing crimes. Yeah, but like, that's like on some, he could be on some Robin Hood shit. I see what you mean. I mean, I guess if you, that's what you want to go. But at the end of the day, Robin Hood is still a bad guy. Whether you're doing bad shit for good reasons, you're still a bad guy. We have bad guys that do good shit and they're still villains. Yo, how did y'all like? His whole, um, all right, when he finally entered the Spider Verse and seen all the other Spider Man's, how did y'all like that? I think that was like the, the, the pinnacle of the movie. That I, shit was overwhelming. It heard it took them four years to make that running scene. They did. That's yeah. crazy. That, you see, like, I feel like Flash needed moments like, like that. that. Yeah. Like where he's bleeping in, and I, and bleeping I think out. There's so many more cameos in there that we just haven't yet noticed. Like when the yeah. 4K version comes out, you get to pause it in your crib and be like, oh, I think we'll see at least eight to ten more cameos that yeah, you know, for sure. Like, this Armor, is this I saw issue. Armored Spider Man. Yeah, I seen yeah. Armored Spider Man. Um, they had a spectacular Spider Man, but he actually had dialogue. Yeah. Which was cool. They had, um, who, oh, how y'all feel about Toby and Andrew scenes being implemented? <sighs> That was epic, bro. I got my, and they show Andrew. I, like, I, I hate, I hate scenes like that because like they put some flash. That was some flashpoint yeah, shit. Yeah, like it's a flashback. Y'all didn't use real. Throw them in there, bro. Like put them in there. I mean, you gotta think about it. They gotta pay them extra to be yeah. on the screen for. And we think about how much we would have paid. Think about how much they would have had to pay Toby McGuire to be on the screen for five seconds. I remember his it's whole fine. thing with coming in. It's no fine because it's not coming out your pocket. His whole thing with no, being in No Way Home was. The money. Yeah. He wanted more money, and then they was like, all right, let's just give it to him. Yeah, like, they're not going to keep humor in But I thought it was cool about them adding that. And I, no. You know me. I was so excited when they mentioned, um, but they put that in the trailer. That's why I don't watch, well, once my movies get closer to it coming out, I don't watch TV spots, new shorts, new trailers, because they start leaking so much stuff. But when they mentioned, yeah, don't even get me started on that little, on Doctor Strange, that little nerd kid from Earth 99999. Yeah. That's the MCU. They they didn't show them, but they mentioned them. Mm. It was like, no, all right. Let's talk about how my son Childish Gambino was. <laughs> oh yeah, was the prowler. You see, that's that's dialogue too. That's and, what was yeah, he was Miles Morales' uncle in in, in you know, Homecoming. No, yeah, Homecoming. And there's a deleted scene of him calling Miles. Yeah, in Homecoming, but they didn't. They play don't play show him. Miles. They he just show says him. his name by name. Yo, Miles, pick up the phone, man. I'm trying to reach you. When you're late. That was dope. Yeah, that was so dope. I think I that was definitely the pinnacle of the movie. All of that different stuff. Um, let's run through the different Spider-Mans that actually got screen time. <laughs> no, before we even get into that, because she's technically not a Spider-Man, but one of my favorite characters in the movie was the baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, she's a Spider-Man. Mayday? Mayday Parker? I didn't know that. No, but yeah, yeah. She was... I had just... She becomes Spider-Woman. She was mm-hmm. dope. I liked her in the movie. Like, yeah. 
I'm not one for I'm not I'm not one for like oh that character was so cute that little girl was cute like, no, hey, no, like the fact that she was using stuff already like she was and with it like, and then when he put the shit over her like the the, the fake the, the little mask like the hat yeah, he bodied that and oh. it's fired because who they gave him to her to right mm-hmm. that's Peter um, Peter B Parker's daughter and he's like doesn't take himself serious anymore. Say, look, yeah. first of all, that nigga has never been completely suited up yet. <laughs> like, yes, he has. Oh yeah, in the end of the first one, yeah, he, he put he on the mask and shit. Yeah, but, but when they first went into the to when he hit the guy with the bagel, which they brought up in this one, no reason for everything. When they went to go, get nah, he didn't have shoes on. on. My son was barefooted. <laughs> so he never been completely suited up. Was it? No, no. The end of the first one when, oh, he, when they go up? on the last mission, yeah, he he, he officially suits up. Yeah, I, like I this forgot guy about that. Z. Um. All right. So how about um Spider Woman, played by Issa Rae? The, the the one on the motorcycle. They hit her pregnancy, and that's crazy. That's like a thing in real life. Like, no, that person hit their pregnancy. Like, or no, they hit her pregnancy from the trailers. Like, you did not see her. With yeah, her. Jessica Drew. You talking about? Yeah, exactly. Spider Woman. Yeah, and that's crazy how they did that. I was like, that's dope. I I, I like. I wasn't I, big on her. I liked. Her. I wasn't big on her, but I'm saying it was cool to that they made her pregnant. Oh, like yeah, like, like they threw you like, off. She got her own life. <laughs> like you feel me, like. That was cool, and, and she didn't give me uh, like a spider person vibe, like because motorcycle. she's a, because she's a mom though, like yeah. she not like she had a stage in her life where she's just like yo, like I'm just here because and, Spider Man yeah, shouldn't have gotta, vehicles to me. But also, you also gotta remember Spider Woman. As much as the name is Spider Woman, Spider Man, right? So you think they're the same? She's not the same as Peter Parker. Like yeah. she's not the same type of spider character. She got her own spin on it completely. So that's that's another thing for me that I took that I looked at it like, all right, she don't have to be. I mean, but it's not. It's just like I said. Like I feel like no spider character should have a vehicle. Oh, you're gonna be but upset. They, yeah, they Because a, a lot of them have they, franchises. They, yeah, like, they've been doing that, like selling spider marketing cars, and shit. Cars, well, I, I'm gonna tell you. I'm, to I'm me, gonna though. tell you. They oh. sling. Like that's how they're supposed to get around sling. You could have them have the webs come out organically, whatever. As long as they got webs. But she's not so, the only spider person that, that has so a vehicle. Like the, I don't the like spider, it. Um, the mech spider, right? That was in... Oh, Penny one. Parker? Yeah. No. I like Penny. Uh, I mean, I thought she was no, okay. I it was a good, she's not my good favorite. It's how different universes could be mad different. And some could be very close. But the only like, thing that saves that to me, like I could understand the logic, is that the spider controls the robot. Mm-hmm. Like it's an actual spider controlling the robot. So yeah, I get yeah, it. Okay, that, that's yeah. how she's a spider person. Yeah, yeah. But like... How about, um... I like the Lego Spider-Man. I yeah, that, that was, was dope. Yeah, and then he put John Jameson to play, um... Oh, yeah. Well, I forgot his... What's his real name in real life? But he plays... J.K. Simmons. Yeah, J.K. Simmons. Simmons actually voiced Lego John, John Jameson. John Jameson, yeah, that was dope. And then I like when Miguel was like, yo, you're the best we have. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you know he's lying to him. He's just like... Nah, I think... Humoring him. I, that's, humoring him. That's the only him. one he fuck with. Yeah, that, that was actually... That's the only one he likes. I was about the Lego part. That was a, I was like, oh, they really went for it here. Yeah. You showed the whole Lego oh, world. Oh, like a little, a little kid like did all the whole... Miss Chan. From Venom. They went to the Venom. Oh, they showed the, the, the yeah, store yeah, lady, they yeah. They there in the Venom realm. That was stupid. Dope. I mean, that was cool. Oh, and she was just like, yeah. Yeah, she was like, because she is who she is. So she was like, what are you doing here? That was, cool. that was dope. I ain't gonna lie. That was a cool. The fact that they didn't show Venom, but they showed his realm. I like the, the Spider-Man in the wheelchair. I don't even think I remember that part. You don't remember that part? Okay, I got there was a Spider-Man in a wheelchair. Oh, yeah? yeah, I thought that was pretty dope. Like a disabled Spider-Man. Ooh, I thought that was okay. pretty cool. I didn't like the Spider-Rex. Yeah, no, no. Like, really that was fun. You like the Spider-Rex one? Of course he likes the Spider-Rex. He's a dinosaur fanatic. I was just like... That pile like, how does he have the suit? That's what I was thinking. Like, you barely got arms, T-Rex. Like, how you made a spider How are you web-slinging with them shits? Like... Yeah, like, like I was like, that was irrelevant. But I knew that was cool for kids. In my head, the, I was like, Peter, I Peter car. Park car, that was... No, they had the car, right? The car yeah, yeah Peter Park oh, car. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. facts. I forgot. Park car. <laughs> yeah, he pulled up and, and um, they showed... Uh, I, I seen a lot of people before I went into it, like, yo, Spider-Punk is the best from this movie. I he wasn't. He wasn't really. Uh, yeah, he wasn't really I, I there get, a lot. I didn't get. I didn't get what was so dope about him. I mean, yes. I mean, the, the character was a cool character, but he didn't do nothing to me that made me feel like. Yes. He was my favorite. Yeah. Because he was anti-establishment. He was. He was an anti-establishment. Yeah. yeah, because his whole thing was like he was. He wasn't there a lot, and he didn't do a lot. But when he did something, it was impactful. No, yeah, it was. Yeah. And he had a lot of self-awareness of like just the situation, like yeah. being extra harsh. That's why I love when he said, "You he, know what? I'm I, done I, with I, it." I quit, bro. Yeah. Like I love that scene. I was like, "Yeah, yo, 
See, y'all need so someone to feel like that. Like, and if you think about it, he's the one who like basically helped Miles get out. Like, mm-hmm. Miles is oh, trying to break. He's excited. Hand. He's happy for Miles when Miles put the palms to the. So I was like, yeah, do that. That's what I'm saying. Fight the fight the power, my nigga. Like, yo, bro, just remember how you broke the shit. So it looks. You know like- what I didn't like about the running scene, the chase scene. I mean, I didn't like the fact that there's th- potentially a thousand Spider Men here. And none of them could catch Miles. None of them could catch him. We all know they all the goat. They got, and we know how Spider Man thinks. He thinks just a little bit more goatness than any other superhero. Like, it's, damn, I gotta get this done. They all have that mindset. You're not telling me one of them was capable of that as holding him. I think that was their way of like telling yeah, us Miles. Miles is, but yeah. right, Miles now seems like he's the goat. He, and I'm sorry, I mean, he's not the goat. If Tom Holland was there, Tom Holland would have caught something, bro. I, Tom would have caught something, right? Are you allowed, bro? Life? Miles is the goat to me. Like, I mean, I, 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 I all, understand why. I out of all the Spider Man, like, like I like the him way the Tom best. thinks at this point in his career after knowing him and everything. Tom would have caught that nigga. I, I like. Toby would have caught that nigga. All oh, dudes, Toby would have caught him. They would have got shot, my nigga, respectfully. Like that's the only thing he really. Wait, uh, O'Hara oh, caught him. He just got shot. Yeah. So yeah. And they they technically I caught him. It's his movie, but y'all made him that that's the best Spider Man ever. While there's other thousands of Spider Man, you know, somebody somebody thinks differently. No, I ain't gonna lie. Even though they ruined that part in the trailer too, Spider Bite. Still. Let's still let him go. Yeah, and, and Peter B. Parker, his mentor, you guys have to say what? What do you want to say? Why didn't they add Iron Spider? Exactly. Hmm. I thought he was going to see Iron Spider. They, he was in a cameo. He had the the claws. He was walking across the, the bridge. All right, yeah, but he's trying to say, like, why they didn't, like, add him to the like, dialogue enough, and stuff. We've seen enough of Iron Spider. Yeah, yeah nah, we can't. It's all, aside from the MCU, which is not the same iteration of the Iron Spider. The, the animated he's series. The, he's talking about the red with the yellow with the gold mm-hmm. suit. Yeah, the not animated the series. The red and gold. No, that's MCU. Iron Spider for years the to come. The animated series. They're like, that. Um, they as Cho became the Iron Spider in the cartoon and all bro, that shit. That's way before. Yeah, but started. like I feel like there's just so many. Which is what I'm There's so say. many better Spider Mans we could we could be. Like Ben Riley, I was cool. I was I like that they put him and the demeanor he had and stuff. Ben Riley. Oh yeah, yo. Like, this is dope. like like I Ben Riley's my favorite. Oh, right? uh, Spider. Yeah, that's fire. He and this is Scarlet Spider, Spider, right? Yeah, he's basically for y'all those of you who don't know out there, he's he got cloned from Peter Parker. And he doesn't know he's the clone version. And that's why he's like, oh my god, I'm so brooding my life. Yeah, I don't belong. Yeah, so uh, like, uh, uh, uh. He goes from crisis. He, it, there's a version of him that uses chains instead of webs, right? If I'm not mistaken. I don't remember. I can't, I can't tell you, I don't know. If it's not him, then there's another Spider Man that uses chains instead of webs. Like, I remember seeing that as a that kid. Up. All right, I got a question for you, Owen. You be, how old are you now? 10. 10. Perfect age for, yeah, he was born 10 in the years ago. Of the kids run. That's crazy. What was your favorite thing about Across the Spider Verse? Like all the Spider Men sort of pointing at each other. Oh, me. <laughs> they never, oh, of course, they, right? They, they, they took what No Way Home did and made it. Yeah, they, they blew it. Everybody, up. the whole, it was like thousands of them. Like, you, 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 he's talking to you, he's talking to you, he's talking to you. Yeah. Yo, whoever made that meme is probably. Well, like, yeah, they got a. First of all, they should have patented it because they would have probably. Been you can't, I mean, you can't patent a meme. Know. You don't know what it's going to become, that scene, when you first make it in the old cartoon. But oh, you should have took a screenshot of like. They probably got a whole memes. job making memes now. Oh, it's over now. Once that ship sails, if you have never patented it, that's it. Sales. It's not yours. We can do whatever we want with that. We don't that. All you get is a pat on the back for the thinking of it. That's yeah. it. But yeah, I thought the movie was a really solid movie, Yannicka. I thought um, it's just not. It didn't give me what part one gave me, but I definitely thought it was everything people were saying. Like, from the sure. pre I was like, I appreciate this. One of my yeah. biggest takeaways from it, the fact that, the fuck biggest, the biggest, not one of, the mm. biggest takeaway from it was that it was a big, uh, to be continued. Mm. Yeah, there was no way they was going to finish that. And plus, there's mad more Spider-Man that they got to introduce. No, my thing is, I can understand y'all, like the story being so big, y'all want to stretch it into two movies, but give us some kind of closure for the first one. Don't just the end next it one is critic. coming out in like eight months. I mean, if that's the case, then I guess it's coming out March 2024. Still, like you can't wait that long. Give me some kind of closure, bro. All right, like, so have you know him what? do something at the end of this outside. movie that was like. What I think happened with that movie? No, get it. We're gonna go outside. I'm gonna take an aluminum bat and I'm gonna crack your head open until you get a coma. And then when you wake up, I'm like, yo, let's go see Spider Man. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I think get... happened with that movie, though, honestly speaking, I think they made, the, they was making the movie, and then they got to a runtime of, let's say, three hours, four hours, and it was like, yo, there's nothing we can delete out of this movie, so we're going to have to split this in half. And they just found the perfect spot to split it at. 
I think that's had to happen because no, no, even no if way. that was the case, bro, all I'm trying to say is don't like all right. No, I agree, the cliffhanger was horrible. Too like, much of a cliffhanger. Like, like yeah, give me like, something to Right after on. when he punched the the, the 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 shit and he saw himself as the prowler and all that shit, just give us one epic scene after that to close off the movie. Right, right. You feel me? Like some shit going down, like they could have got Miguel running into the spot and Miguel fighting the spot real quick mm-hmm. and losing so Miguel could see how serious the situation yeah. is and I that leads up to the next movie. Just, just give us something to close there the movie off. Right? No. No. Yeah. But, now I know what you mean though because I, uh, while reading the comments, a lot of people felt that about the, um, the ending, but also uh, most of those people didn't know it was a part one or two. Me either. I didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't know going when, into it. When they first announced it, period, ever, like, the teaser, like, a year ago or whatever, they announced, it says they're on it in the trailer, part one. Cross the Spider-Verse part one. So you, right there, that's your, you're knowing that, oh, it's just going to be another part to this. All right, look, for you example. You expect it to end like that. Look, for example, all dudes, Endgame and Infinity War. Yeah. They both linked. Those was, that, that, that was basically uh, to be continued. Endgame still gave us that phenomenal last scene when Thanos. No, Infinity War. Sorry. I mean Infinity War. You feel me? We still got to see the the snap. Like Thanos won, my nigga. He didn't win everything because Part Two finished the movie, but that finished Infinity War. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You feel me? Like that finished that it was movie. Just too like, much of a nothing cliffhanger. Yeah. Like, you really feel me? Like that's it. I just gonna leave me just wanting more like yeah. that. Like you're not gonna. I think they they focus too much on the shake scene. That took up most of the ending. Yeah. And you don't realize that's the ending while you're watching it. Yeah, no, nah, look. It's like, bro. oh, this is the ending. All right. But I give him that much, though. Like, when, when it did say to be continued, reality, like, sunk in. Like, I didn't realize I was sitting there for that long. And that definitely, like, is a, a credit to the movie. If you, can make, if you can make me not realize that I've been sitting down for this long, so like, change, yeah. you feel me? Then that means I was completely captivated in the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I like I had to like yo this shit ended to be continued hell no I looked at the time like oh shit we have been here for two and a half hours. That's how Infinity War Endgame so you want just more like at the ending of that movie and you realize like nigga how long do you want to be here? Yeah. Yeah. Um, anything else we probably missed in this movie that like, I want to just add before we close this? Hmm. Uh, uh, the- I wanted to see in the ending that they should like put a little clip in the ending of the girl from Venom talking to Eddie Brock. Hmm. Oh, like telling him the way they did the yeah. post credit scene for. Um, Yo, there was some guys in here looking for you earlier. Yeah. He, 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 you gotta know them because they was on some shit like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the lady, that the lady from the store good. that would have been. That would have been cool. Why go a lot? Yeah, uh, I, I would say like th- these are the Spider Man that I want to be in the next movie. Mm-hmm. Um, Peter Parker from the animated nineties. That right, would be dope. He is the goat. Uh, Japanese Spider Man. Yeah, it's a with, opportunity. With, yeah. with the motorcycle and the Megazord. Oh, yeah, that's the... He's going to be in the second one. He's, got, like, without a doubt, because he's one of the most powerful yeah, ones, because yeah, he got the fucking yeah, giant yeah. robot, Leopardo. He's like an enemy Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what he is. Look. Um, then uh, they could show... I mean, those are the only two biggest ones, right? Like, those are the only two bazookas that they could pull out that's like, oh, shit. Give me a Venom. I, that was what I was going to say. I, I want Venom for a post credit scene. No, don't put it in the movie. You mean for the post credit scene? Like, yo, this is going to be the villain for the next movie now. Good. Yeah. Like or at least a, a Venom. We got all these Spider-Man, but didn't get to see a Venom suit spider Well, that's, that's probably the next the next story arc. Yeah, for you're going to learn. What's up, Owen? What if since Gwen, like, in the movie, like, took out uh, the Scarlet Spider, he, like, threw him in the portal? What if in the third one they replace him with the Venom suit Spider-Man? Mm. That would be dope. That would yeah, be that, yeah, yeah. He too. comes out. They'll probably and bring him. I wonder him. who left the, the thing for her. When went, went back? Spider-Man. I felt like it was him, but he also threw his away out the portal and left his universe. So where did he get another one from? That's the only thing. But I did feel like it was that. But I'm like, they didn't touch too much on how she got or who left it. He just had a friend. And I all assumed Spider-Punk, but I'm like, but he dropped it off before he left the portal, so how did he even have one? He made his own. All right, I'm wrong with that then. Yeah, 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 I think he made you his own. You always gotta find a way that's something that gives you sleep at night. Like, oh, that's what it is. Um, I think that was dope too, though, how at the end, the very end, Spy- um, Gwen reassembled the old team, Spider-Ham, mm-hmm. 
Nicolas Cage. Um, At that very moment, it makes you realize, like, oh shit, they wasn't in the movie. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, I just realized that shit, like, oh, they did us wasn't in the But they movie. also putting in um, spider, spider people from comic books that came out like a few months ago. Mm, okay. So like, smart, smart. so the, the T-Rex that came out in the comic like a few months before the movie came out and then the dude, uh, the spider man in the wheelchair, he also came out in one of the, cause they have like a series of like different short stories of different Spider-Men. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm hoping that I get to see uh, the Disney, it's like a Disney princess. Mm -hmm. She looked like a Disney princess, yeah, just... and she's a spider. She's oh, a spider okay. woman. That's fine. And just cool. um, just cool. they got like a Maleficent, mm -hmm. like Green Goblin looking lady that's mm -hmm. like trying to get her, and then she got like a, a pet spider, and it talks to her. See, that's different. I like spins like that. It just gives you a she, you already love a different version of it. And then she calls spinstress. So I'm hoping you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping we can see like, like her. Like I, I don't know, man. But the the t my two biggest wants for the next movie is the animated Spider Man, the animated Spider Man, Spider -Man the 90s. and um the Japanese Spider Man. The Japanese Spider Man. Um. All right. So we can just close this off. Oh wait, we didn't even talk about this dude. Hmm. Um, Spider Man India. Oh, oh yeah, he, I ain't gonna lie. He, he was the, really good. Yeah, he and was. I didn't think I was gonna like him going into the movie at all, at all. But he was really, really good. I ain't gonna lie. I like just his personality, like. I like how they utilize. He kept utilizing his bangle, like he was there as like, and they using the bangle to like lock it in and all that yeah, shit. Yeah. Like and then even when they wasn't fighting, my son was just sitting, like just standing there talking to them. Like he was using it like a yo yo and mm -hmm. shit. Like, like I like that they introduced and then bangles are like big part of Indian culture. So like that was their way it's of like, like stuff. yeah, you feel me? Like yeah, that was definitely a good one. Um, I want to just rate the rate the movie to end it. Uh. I'll, I'll go first. I wanna and I gave it a ten out of ten. I ain't gonna lie. I think it was what people said it was, and I did enjoy it from beginning to end. Um, yeah, Spider Man film, Toby. But I do. Um, I said it's I ten think, out of I ten. Think, I just don't think the, it's better than the first one, which people said it was. But for some people, maybe it is, and I wouldn't slaughter you for that. I think like, you got the right to say that. It could be. It is better than the first one. I feel like. Would Would you rate it a ten? I ain't gonna lie. It's like about an eight for me. I I like I enjoyed myself, you feel me? It like it it not being them better than part one, like, was the real like deter for me. Like, you feel me? I've I but then again, like we said earlier, part one was new, so yeah. it was like I was more wide eyed watching it, so right. what do you feel, Owen? I rated uh ten out of ten, but I, I wanted to say in the third one, I want them to like do a scene where the live action one is like holding the train. Like, mm. Holding. Yeah, like Toby was doing it yeah. that time. That'd be cool. They do that. I'm waiting for the live action one coming to the third yeah, one. Do something like that. That was gonna be dope. That would be. Right. Dope. Oh, and now, what you rate? Uh, uh, eleven out of ten. Oh, okay. yeah. Right. Yeah. That's what most fans feel. So. Uh, I would Listen, be. man. I thought it was really good. I thought like <clears throat> when you do a multiverse movie, like. That's that's how you do it. Yeah. None, none of this none of this flash shit where you just yeah. tease. You know what I'm saying? Like wh so, what the flash movie could have been. I do give you. I do give you that. What? Out of all the multiverses movie, within Doctor Strange, Flash, all these multiverses movies that's been coming out, this one definitely touched down on the multiverses the most. Like we definitely seen like even if they didn't visit every multiverse themselves. We saw pieces of every, like so many Spider-Man. And you saw them interacting with each other. Yeah. And so that and, was cool. And that's why Flashpoint failed for me. Mm. Oh, and lastly, yeah. Madam Web. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. I really like Madam Web. They need to put her in the next one. They have to. Because they make out with was basically her. Yeah. yeah. No, but he's, he's, he's managing it, right? Because like, I remember somebody was telling me, like, oh, you know, like, Miguel O'Hara is essentially Madam Web, but I'm like, no, bro, like, like he's just doing the Spider-Man part. There's still Gwen, uh, Spider Gwen has her own variants. Like she has her own different variations mm -hmm. of herself. Like every Spider-Man in that multiverse, every single one of them have variations of themselves. Yeah, I see what you mean. So 
th this is like the small picture. There's a bigger picture that we're gonna see even more. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then who you think controls all that? It's Madam her. Web. And they probably don't even know she's controlling it. Exactly. I would love that too. So she's, because somebody is just like, oh, um, I remember somebody was telling me like, oh, what? how's all of this shit going on and, and she don't know. What is the deal with Spider-Gwen specifically though? Like, like, honestly, like, because, all right, there's Spider-Gwen, right? And I always looked at it like, yeah, that's she's from Spider-Man, so they made her a Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. So where the fuck does Gwenpool come from? Gwenpool is not yeah, related that's, to... That's just like a variant version. No, like, she's not even a variant. No, what I mean by that is like a variant comic. No, like, all right, let me explain. Gwenpool is Gwendolyn Pool. She exists in our real world. She was a fan of Marvel Comics. She used to read all the Marvel comics. She got sucked in to the comic book Marvel Universe. Mm. So her power is that she knows everything about everybody. Mm. So it's a totally different... That's oh, not she's, like a, she's like that's a squirrel girl. She, no, she's not like a squirrel girl. She has no powers in that universe. Her power is when she's about to get like whoozed out, she's like, yo, I know your secret identity. You this person, right? And then like, how you know? And then she goes, So it's right. not Gwen Stacy at all, baby. It's not Gwen Stacy at all. all right. But she could probably show up just because she's No, I wasn't counting on her coming into the Spider Man movie at all. I was just I, I was just wondering like I didn't know. I thought Spider Gwen was Gwen. Mm -hmm. I mean I thought Gwenpool was Gwen. Yeah, like yeah, from yeah. that character. Like you feel me? I didn't I mean that's kinda that's kinda corny for Marvel if you ask me like for them to name Gwenpool, Gwen. Like y'all could have just if that was if she's a whole different character, y'all could have just gave her a whole different name. Yeah, yeah. I, you if y'all have a Gwen. I used to think like that, but uh, like I, I don't know why. I think like some people are gonna have for to for some, some reason like that's I, like them adding that's like them adding another Peter, bro. But it happens in real life. So like, there's not only one of you, and I look like that with MCU how they named Ronan the accuser and then Ronan Hawkeye's Ronan. They both Ronans, but. Yeah, it's confusing. But uh, I, wow, they go along. Give you similar names. No, I didn't. I didn't think of that. Cause Ronin is a word. Like I know why Hawkeye's Ronin is exactly. called Ronin. This guy's name is actually Ronin. Which makes no sense if you want to get technical. Because well, not that it makes no sense. It's just Roman. Ronin definitely has like a different definition wherever yeah. he's from. <laughs> like on Earth, Ronin. I, I, but I, I like Gwenpool. Like she's she's tight. She's All right, like, let's type this one up. We spent I think a little ten minutes longer than we were supposed to on this one, but. It seemed like we had an organic conversation. Um, let us know in the comment section what y'all thought of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Was it better than part one or not? What do you rate it from one through ten? And what you thought of the spoiler review? Um, we are the Assemblers. I am Sluggy. Uh, uh, Madam Web for part two. <laughs> That's <is> okay. <laughs> uh, Owen, you want to get on cam to show them that you was part of it? Hi. Yeah, that's Owen right there. All right, and so next time, Sometimes. It's about that time. Assemble and talk. No, no cap. It's a civil war. You digging, you worthy. You feeling like door. Smash that like button, like hope. Yeah.